That whistle is the cue to begin with our introductions for this afternoon's semifinal matchup between the Netherlands and the United States of America. Introducing first, we have Team USA starting with number one, Jorge Sanchez. Number two, Jacob Williams. Number three, Talon Jordan. Number seven, Ryan Nicewander. Number eight, Brian Bell. Number 11, Steven Serio. Number 14, Corey Rossi. Number 16, Trevon Jennifer. Number 25, Jorge Salazar. Number 32, Fabian Romo. Number 33, John Boy. And number 44, Jeremy Meyer. The head coach is, of course, Rob Taylor. And the assistant coach is Mike Bay. A round of applause for Team USA, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we have the home team, Team Netherlands, starting with number zero, Frank de Jong. Number one, Robin Poggenwish. Number two, Mendel up the north. Number three, Anil Segil. Number seven, Patrick de Boyer. Number 11, Matthijs Bellers. Number 12, Gijs Even. Number 15, Quinten Zantinge. Number 17, Ari Twight. Number 21, Camilo Van Tripe. Number 23, Mustafa Korkmaz. Number 38, Jory Van Leer. And of course, we have head coach Cis Van Rutselaar, followed by the assistant coach Anton Derwa. We will now respect the national anthem of the United States of America. <laughs> Next, we will respect the national anthem of Spain, of the Netherlands, excuse me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to the United Arab Emirates for the 2022 IWBF World Championship. The Netherlands will be taking on the United States of America. We're live here in the beautiful city of sunny Dubai at the World Trade Center. These two powerhouses, they'll compete, but the winner will go on to the final where they will face either Iran or Great Britain. That game will be taking place later today. 
Momentarily, we will take a look at the lineups of both these two teams. But if you are joining us live on the YouTube stream, please give us a like. Also, subscribe to IWBF on YouTube. And please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. This is IWBF World Championship Wheelchair Basketball. Well, both teams, of course, you couldn't separate them. They're both powerhouses, rightfully in their respectfuls. The Netherlands featuring some key players, as well as the United States, with some of the key players, such as Brian Bell, Tri Trevon Jennifer. But the Netherlands, don't forget Superman, Mendel opted Ert. Well, Steve Serio had a big game in the quarterfinals against the Australians. Other key players you can look out for is Jorge Salazar and Jorge Sanchez. Jacob Williams will also be a key factor for the United States. USA coached by Rob Taylor, assisted by Mike Bay and Tony Frescas. But now we look at the Netherlands. Head coach Van Rutzelaar, as already mentioned, Mendel Op den Ert, Superman as we like to call him. Not to mention the likes of this Spider-Man, Matthias Bellas. And they're assisted by Yuri Van Leer. Our three officials, there you can see we have Blaine Kraplinov, also Kusanilov Bejic and Alexandre Lepontre. We're very proud to say we have some of the finest officials in world international basketball. They've done an excellent job so far at the IWBF and they'll continue to do so here for the semifinals. Well, we just had a look there at Coach Van Hussela and here is Robert Taylor. Both coaches know that this will be a very tough game for both of them. As we said, two powerhouses of international wheelchair basketball, but only one of them will come out victorious here tonight. Well, currently now just under a minute and a half away from tip-off. This will be a big game to say the least, but who will be winning this one? We will find out. Are you supporting the Netherlands or are you supporting the United States of America? United States coming out in the navy blue, of course, with Netherlands coming out in their wonderful white and orange uniforms. USA! And Matthias Bellas, along with Mendel Opten, oh, will start this one for the Netherlands. Also featuring for them is number zero, Frank de Jong, their captain, as well as number three, Anil Jail. Both fans from both teams coming here to the Dubai World Trade Center to show their support for their respective teams. And this is going to be one hell of a matchup between two very good international programs. Tremonte Jennifer will go up against Spider-Man for the tip and run away. Good afternoon. Let's get this game underway. It will be the Netherlands trying to get things going early on. Mendel up down there from the baseline. It's always going to be an automatic option from Superman. Again, the USA, if they're going to try and compete, they've got to make sure they try and keep him from getting so many good looks. I mean, he's definitely one of the best players here at the IWBF World Championship. Sanchez now trying to move the ball, finding Jerome Maya. USA just trying to build himself build themselves into this game. Sanchez goes baseline, just hits the back iron. Talking Vish for the rebound. 
One thing you should know about these two teams, they do like to play in transition, but they are not a run and gun team. If they don't get something quick, they like to slow down the tempo and get it to a half court set. But the USA, very good de defensive collective program. Well, going down low, finding Mendel up there. tries another one just to hit the back iron. The rebound has been secured. Bell playing in the backcourt here with Tremonte Jennifer and Jorge Sanchez. Shot clock winding down for the United States. Having to find something here. Jerome Meyer now, he's one of their best shooters. Shot is up, no good. The rebound secured by Superman. Well, the early few minutes of this game are really going to dictate what happens. They go down low to Spider-Man. Goes up, draws a foul, but does get the M1. Well, if you wonder why we call Matthias Bell as Spider-Man is because he grabs every single offensive rebound, and it's very hard to keep him off the boards, but now he'll go to the charity stripe here for two shots. Well, good morning to everybody watching live here on the YouTube stream. Welcome to the MVP, Boris Krenitz. Make sure you follow him on social media. He is the ultimate IWBF fan. Boris, shout out to you, my friend. Guten Tag, wie geht's dir? Bellas goes two for two for the charity stripe. Just like they did against Australia, the USA do patiently try to get themselves into every game. Sanchez, bit of time and space, takes the mid range. Nothing but that by Jorge. Well, they say West is best, and that's where Jorge Sanchez comes from, California. Beautiful rotation on the mid range by Sanchez. Longenbish finding again. Bell is under the basket. Well, this is something very reminiscent of the Netherlands style of play. They like to go inside the key, and every time they get into the paint, they simply become unstoppable. Just the long arms there of Spider-Man making it very tough to defend. USA now with a chance. Unable to get it. Mendel up down over the rebound. Trying to go long here. Goes out of bounds. Now we'll go back to the USA. Well, shout out also to Connie Kutz, the wife of Tim Kutz, the assistant coach here for the Netherlands. Connie, another super fan. Well, I had a long conversation with your husband this morning, Connie, and he, let me tell you, he is an MVP, a most valuable person. He's been doing great work here with this great national team of the Netherlands. But meanwhile, speaking of greatness, the USA, well, Jerome, my, you can't leave this man wide up because he will punish you. Romy Meyer, probably one of the best 18 foot shooters here in this game. Again, you cannot allow him the room, the capacity. An offensive foul is going to be called against the Netherlands, so the USA will get the possession back. Oh, welcome to Greet Speta from Leiden. Welcome, my friend. USA with a chance to tie this game up. Maybe take the lead if they go for a three-pointer. Sanchez thinks about it. And that's just a little bit too short. They'll go out of bounds. Sanchez trying to find a little bit of separation off the pick and roll play with Jennifer, but unable to really get the rotation on that. But he is a good player. Sanchez is one of the ultimate facilitators here for the USA. Parking fish baseline now. Find a Mendel up den Ert. Tough defense by Trevante. Jennifer puts up the dish, can't get it. I thought he was trying to pass that one, but... Trevante Jennifer, probably one of the best defenders you're going to find here in the IWBF. And the fact that Mendel up 10 hurts, I mean, this is tough to try and get the shot off him. Oh, he has such a high release, it makes it so impossible to try and block Superman.
Well, we currently have 525 people watching live on the YouTube stream. Please, can you give this live YouTube stream a like? It helps progress the further development of international wheelchair basketball. Remember, this is the semifinals of the IWBF. Netherlands currently taking on the USA. Five seconds are on the shot clock. Pogenvish trying to find Superman. It's a tough one. It's up. Just goes over the backboard. That's going to be an out of bounds violation. Well, Kathleen Blair said it. Time to bring in Steve Serio. Serio's been the ultimate super sub for the USA. If you saw the game against Australia, came off the bench. And a quick seven points that really turned the tide in that game. Sanchez thought about going for the play punto, but doesn't go for it. Goes in the lane, finds a dish off. Nice pass, but Jennifer unable to finish it. Three seconds now. Bell's got to take a shot. Oh, no. Reset the shot. <laughs> My apologies. Well, Bell, miscommunication. I don't think he realized, but another offensive board. That became something out of nothing for the USA. Second chance points could be a key factor in this game between these two teams. Whoever comes up with the most offensive rebounds, but are also able to convert those offensive rebounds. Could be something that dictates. As Pogginvich goes top of the key, shot is up and counted. Well, that's a three-pointer. Well, took that one right from the desert and landed it here in the Dubai World Trade Center. Sanchez now, can he respond with a tray ball? He puts it up, can't get it. Pogginvich gets a rebound. Netherlands now looking to push this one. One thing this team's been very good at in all the games they've played so far is a transition play. Fine, it's Superman, and it just rolls its way out. But another offensive rebound. And as I said, second chance points could be the key factor between these two teams. Well, when you have your last donut, you have to cool box out because Mendel up 10 hurt. He'll be all over the boards. Jerome Maya, can he cut it down? Again, it's a good look by Maya. And he just needs to get into a rhythm here. Because once he starts to hit a few shots from the mid-range, it will just calm the nerves for these USA players. Another deep shot. Bellis can't get the board. Jennifer trying to push this one. USA have numbers. Can they capitalize? Meyer in transition. Unable. It was a good counterattack by the USA, but the end product just not there in the end. But can the Netherlands now? Can they capitalize? Make this a potential two-possession game. Parking Vish trying down low, finding Bellas. No foul called. Well, good defense, maybe. Maybe there was a bit of contact. Sanchez just has a few words for the Netherlands bench. Jennifer Fine, Brian Bell kicks this one out to Sanchez. This is good movement here from the USA, but an offensive foul. Well, a moving screen. Is going to be called against the USA's number 33. John Boy, classified as a 1.0 player. Well, Kathleen Blair, I think coach heard you because now Steve Serio is checking into the game with Jacob Williams. Well, the depth in these two teams is fairly even. Probably both teams go eight, nine deep players. The X's and O's, they don't really count in this game. Both teams have seen each other quite a lot in scrimmages. We build up games, of course, here to the World Championship. Hogan Bish finding Bellens. Bellens almost fumbling it. Time running out. They've got to try and secure something. Mendel up Dinert. Just a little bit too strong off the backboard. Is going to be committed in transition by Robin Hockenvish. Well, one thing you must appreciate about these two teams, obviously we know how great they are and how deservedly they need to be here in the semifinals, but it's the team concept playing for each other. The commitment is now Brian Bell trying to kill the screen. 
Serio now, deep three, off the bench, up, no good. Steve Serio probably just needs to get into the game a little bit. It's a good look from him. But he keeps having open looks like that. No doubt he's going to start knocking them down. Syndicated defense coming from the USA. 2.26 to go here in the first quarter. Still a five-point lead to the Netherlands. That's great hustle there from Brian Bell. Originally from Birmingham, Alabama in the south, but plays for the Golden State Road Warriors. Well, just to clear up the misconception of why it's called the 2022 IWBF is Brian Bell. Again, a wide open look. Well, not too much defensive presence there. Brian Bell's got to make that one. He's a great player. The Netherlands now a chance to make this potentially a seven point ball game. Superman in the lane. No foul called. That's going to go out of bounds, and that will be possession back to the Netherlands. Well, my apologies, of course. And as Tanaka Bremer explained, yeah, absolutely. The reason it's called the 2022 IWBF World Championship, it was supposed to be hosted in 2022, but due to COVID, they had to cancel it. Time running out. Bellas takes the mid-range. Off the backboard, and Spider-Man just draws up a web. Well, a long reach on that shot makes it very tough to defend there. Matthias Bellas classified 4.5 player. The bank is open. Jacob Williams checking into the game here. Can he get something going? Jennifer thinks about it. Now he takes it. Shot is up. Back on again, no good. Bell fighting for the rebound. That's going to go out of bounds. And that will go back to the Netherlands. <laughs> Off to Nerd now. Making a dump down pass. Good defense again. This is one thing the USA, no doubt the deficit may only be seven points. But collectively as a unit, they will defend with everything. Comparing these two teams, of course, the Netherlands definitely have size and strength, while the USA probably much more stealthier in terms of how they move and transition. Five seconds now. Pogenvich finding Bellas. Can he go again? A little bit short off the backboard. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. USA trying to settle into this game. Williams trying to go to a give and go, but good help side defense. A foul is going to be committed against the Netherlands. So it's going to be a baseline possession to the USA. for the United States. Williams top of the key, puts a high arc, and again, rattles its way in and out. USA are getting good looks, but at the moment, they're just not dropping. But maybe it could be just like the Australia game, patiently, slowly, and surely just trying to build themselves. But now the Netherlands with a great opportunity to build the momentum. Well, Bellas goes from downtown deep off the backboard, can't get it. Four seconds now for the USA. Tries a lob pass, goes out of bounds, and with seven tenths of a second left, that will be possession back to Netherlands, 13 to six to the Dutch. Well, the end of the first quarter, it is a seven point lead to the Netherlands. Both teams now will just have a time to breathe and think about it and talk it over with their coaches. But we will be back in just under two minutes for the second half of the first semifinal of the 2022 IWBF World right, Championship. Ellen, we got to prove that we can beat them on the offside. We talked about it in that video. On defense, we are not staying. He's on pick. The problem you guys had initially was that you guys weren't stopping the class ones. Stop the class ones. 
just if they post this up, but they have to do something they can post this up yet. We're playing at the volleyball attack line, okay? Defensively, everybody stay in the We currently have just under 700 people watching live here. Can you please give this live YouTube stream a like, please, and subscribe to IWBF to help further progress the development of international wheelchair basketball. Second quarter about to get underway. Serio top of the key. Can get the roll again? It's on target, but just unable to finish it. But he's got to keep shooting, and he has to give his team a bit of belief. Tyus Bell is another turnover here from the Netherlands. And that was a golden opportunity to extend their lead as they had numbers. Bell making one more pass, finding Jennifer. A foul has been committed against Robin Hogenvish. Deep shot and again. Everything is looking good here for the USA. But nothing dropping. Hogenvich trying to make the pass. Finds Mendel up to Nert. Thank you to Johan Uman. Thank you for your kind words, sir. What a game this is becoming. Bell is now time, space being closed out. Has to go for an end of the shot clock and again the suffocated defense by the USA, making it very tough. Both teams just going through a bit of a barren spell here, but an offensive foul and a costly turnover. And Brian Bell, I think it's gonna be cool against him. Well, Brian Bell needs to be careful now because he's got two personal fouls, and there you can see, but I love to see that, the sportsmanship between Brian Bell and Mendel Abdenert. And that's what you want to see here between two great teams and two great players. Competitive nature, and also the respect and admiration for each other. Again, another turnover. Well, Netherlands trying to go inside here. USA's defense making it very tough inside the paint. Probably what the Netherlands need is just maybe to go for some mid-range shots. Williams tops, goes for another three, and it's up, and it's good. It just slowly gets him into this one. Great shot by Jacob Williams. Bell is being heavily guarded here. Foul is going to be called against Jacob Williams. That's going to be the second team foul for the USA here in the second quarter. But one good thing for the Netherlands is that they're three fouls away from getting into the penalty, and they are a very good free throw shooting team. Hoggenvich trying to use the ball screen. Finds a bit of separation, goes off the backboard, just rattles its way out. And that was a great look, but couldn't finish it. 
USA want to chip into the deficit. Netherlands want to get another stop. Both these two teams want to get to the final. This is great ball movement. Another mid-range back iron. Good rebound by Bellas. That's why they call him Spider-Man. Bish now. Netherlands trying to get a bit of spacing in their offense. Up down Erd has to go for the tough one. Shot is up and again. Looks like it's going in, but it rattles its way out. Well, Superman has to keep believing in himself. Another foul is going to be committed. This one may be caught against Matthias Bellas. Well, no foul trouble right now for the Netherlands. Only four players with one foul each, while the USA, Brian Bell and John Boyd, do have two fouls as Robin Pogginvish just checks out of the game for a little break. Serio from the mid range. This is where he's very lethal, but again, can't get it. Maybe just a little bit of nerves here for these two teams, knowing it is a semifinal. Updenert trying to get his teammates involved. Good passing in the lane, draws a foul. And that's going to be the 13th foul against the USA. As now Frank de Jong will go the free throw line here for two shots. Captain Frank. That's one thing you've got to love about Mendel Abdenert. We know what a great score he is. But let me tell you something, he's also one hell of a facilitator for the Netherlands. Just shot on the first free throw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to say thank you. We do have 42 likes. Let's see if we can get to 50 before the end of the second quarter. Please give this live YouTube stream a like as De Jong makes the second free throw. Serio going to pick and roll with Brian Bell. Bell cross court, finding Jacob Williams. USA want to get him going. Nice ball, Russell. Bell goes to the mid range, takes it, can't get it. Opt in over the rebound. Only a five point lead for the Netherlands, but they're looking to push this one. Time running out on the shot clock. Under the basket, good boardman, tries to use the backboard, can't get it. And that was a golden opportunity there for the Netherlands, it was wide open. Now the counterattack here from the USA, can they chip into the deficit? Well, nice no-look dive there by Brian Bell. The USA just sharing the ball so effectively, but can they get an open look? And it looks like another... Well, this time they're going to call it against number 15, I believe, for the Netherlands. Kenton, Quinton, Satange. Well, it's very interesting, that one. Well, we got a timeout now. These two teams will talk it over. Currently still five-point lead to the Netherlands with 5.34, excuse me, to go here in the second quarter. This is semifinal number one of the IWBF World Championship here in the United Arab Emirates. Let's listen now to what these two coaches have to say. Both timeouts from Netherlands with Van Rutselaar and Robert Taylor. One thing you have to appreciate about the coaching is that there's not too much emotion from both coaching staffs. Only a five-point ball game, very calm, but also the communication with all the players. Everybody seems to be involved. And it's the concept of synergy. Everybody 
He's a big role to make the sum of the pots. Sarah, top of the key, trying to find Brian Bell. No, too strong off the backboard. Another rebound for Superman. He's just trying to keep control of this one hit. Tange trying to find a bit of time and space down low, right past to Evan. Goes over there, can't get it. No foul calls. Netherlands getting a bit more and more aggressive looks inside the paint, but they are finding tough to so break down the excellent USA defense. Oh, going down the middle. It's a little lob and kisses it off the backboard. Well, getting his first field goal of the game. He does have two fouls. Cuts it down to a three point ball game. That's a little. Loader, if you like. That's like the default button on the PlayStation or the Xbox, whatever you like to play. Off Dan Earth, just finding a bit of space, a little bit too strong. So one thing about the USA, the defense tends to make it hard to break down. USA can tie this up with a three-pointer. Trying to go back to Serio. Had the right idea. It goes out of bounds, but that will be possession. Back to the Netherlands, I believe. Well, again, join the action. Hashtag IWBF2022, excuse me. Please make sure we're up to 62 likes. Let's actually see if we can get to 70 before the end of the second quarter. Please like this live stream and subscribe to IWBF on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Netherlands still in the lead. Then it goes for another one. A little bit short. USA with another chance now. Can he cut it down to one? Or can they tie it up with a three-pointer? USA just going for a dribble handoff offense here. Jacob Williams trying to find some separation. Two seconds now. Serio has to force it up. Can't get it. Both teams defending very well. That's what happens when you have two great defensive units. The offense does make it very tough to break down. Oh, Bell's got to be careful because now he's picked up his third personal foul. Coach Robert Taylor has a big decision to make. Do you keep Ryan Bell in the game? Because if you take him out, it does affect your offense. So a timeout's going to be called with 2.58 to go here in the second quarter. Netherlands currently leading by three points. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you. We're up to 66 likes. Let's see if we can get to 70 before halftime. We thank you for all your support for IWBF basketball. Let's listen now to what these two coaches have to say. But remember, please give this live stream a like. We're going to be up. Sally and Jake, you guys are going to go back. But if we're circling back, you can always switch with somebody else. Okay? They're still jumping Jake Harden. In fact, when Jake's up at the point, they're just extending on him. We've got to be able to hit that cross pick, get Jake to come around it. Then we can get the ball back to Jake on that look there, or we can look to attack down the middle. That's all they're doing is extending up at the point right now. Right, guys, we're good now, too. We're going to have power on each side. Sally and Diver, Trey and Diver, Nisa. Okay, Baseline possession to the Netherlands. I'll see sideline. 
Going quite a while without getting something here. Satangi baseline, a bit of separation, takes the shot again, the back iron. Nothing dropping here for the Netherlands. Three-point lead. I'm going to say also, just trying to get closer and closer to the equal mark between these two teams. Finds Jacob Williams, he takes the shot, it's up. No good, good closeout. And now Mendel up there, no, it's trying to speed it up here in transition for the Netherlands. Jorge Zalazar checking into the game, that's going to go out of bounds, another turnover. Good defense by Salazar. Big possession here again for the USA. Just over two minutes to go here in the second quarter. Well, oh, had the shot top of the keeper. They want to go to Serio. As he is the box man. Now it's a one-point deficit. Time. It was uncontested, used the screen very well. The Netherlands so far have done a good job of closing him out, but that time you can see that's what he does best. Eleven now, can he get something going? And finally, bedunked, as they would say in the Netherlands. Much needed, two points. Guy seven, or oh, high seven, excuse me. This is BEA, beautiful. Nice give and go play. Salazar under the basket, and he gets the M1. A chance to tie the game up. And both teams defensively have been phenomenal, but now they're just finding a bit of momentum and a bit of rhythm. As now Bellas will come back into the game here for the Netherlands. Chris Evan now just coming out of the game. But one thing I really respect and love here from Coach Van Husala. Every substitution's good communication with his players. <laughs> Tie game now, 16 apiece. Over one minute to go here in the second quarter. Netherlands trying to go to dribble handoff offense. Satanga down the middle. Finds up Dan Ert. Just hits the back iron. No good. Now the USA with a chance to finally take the lead. Just under one minute here. Oh, Williams from no man's land. Takes it. Can't get it. Spider-Man secures the rebound. Potential two for one here for the Netherlands if they get a quick bucket and then a stop down the other end. Nice give and go play. Finding Spider Man doesn't get the roll. Well, surely Mendel up dead hunt. I don't know if you call that a block or a clothesline, but I think he should be going to the free throw line. Well, that is a hard, hard play, but the referees, they say, let play continue. Dunner thinks about taking the shot. Great defense by Trevante Jennifer. Seven seconds now. Finds Bellas. Got to take this. It's up, and it's good. Spider-Man stepping up big time for the Netherlands. Now the USA can try to get the last shot. Williams heavily defended. Tries to split the defense. Goes up off the backboard. No good. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half, it is the Netherlands who lead this 18-16 against the USA in the IWBF World Championship. Well, defensively, it's been a great showcase. We've seen two very good teams. At the end, there can only be one that will go on to the final. We're going to take a break for 15 minutes, but at the moment, it is a two-point lead deficit. We'll see you soon.
welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half of the first semifinal of the IWBF World Championship to get underway. The Netherlands currently have a two-point lead here against the United States of America. And it will be the Netherlands who have the first possession. We'll say starting with Jorge Salazar. Williams, Jermaine Jennifer, Steve Serio, and Jorge Sanchez as well. Well, since we know Jorge Sanchez is on the bench, they've got currently Ryan Nieswender on the court. Morgan Vish draws a foul. He'll go to the free throw line. The Netherlands, of course, want to try and get things going inside the paint. The one way they're going to try and battle in this game is try to get as many free throws as possible, but they've got to make them count. Morgan Vish makes the first free throw. Makes it two for two for the charity stripe. Well, it's a turnover now. They got a three on one here in transition. Can they finish it? Superman trying to go down the middle. Draws a contact. No foul called. What a tough play by Superman. Mendel up den Ertz. Took all the contact on that play, and now it's a six point lead here to the Netherlands. You say trying to get in this one. Trying to go again for the mid range, no good. Jacob Williams being aggressively closed out. And this is what the USA like to do they like to pass the ball around. And again, go for the mid-range. This time it counts. On these window that you can see, just uncontested from the free throw line. She just gets enough rotations now. Maybe she thought about going for the three-point. It doesn't take it. Four seconds now. Bob Dennett has to shoot this, takes a shot, that guy just rolls its way out. Almost got it. Two possession game, can the USA cut it down to one? In the lane again, Khan, both teams really getting good looks, but just not getting the lucky roll of the dice. Two lead here in the third quarter for the Netherlands. Bogovic has to take it. Deep three, it's up. Oh, baby! Second treble of the game. Well, who needs Batman when we've got Robin? Nightcrawler. The Nightwing. Stretches it back to a seven-point lead here to the Netherlands. Well, Serio left wide open, takes it, and again, no problem. Back and forth action between both the USA and the Netherlands. They get the ball up the court. And that's going to go out of bounds. That will be possession back to the Netherlands. That was good defense by the USA. Vish is feeling a bit of confidence at the moment. Ryan Bell is up Dan Hood. Just rallying his way out. USA doing a good job keeping the Netherlands off the offensive rebounds. Now it's a three on two. An unsportsmanlike foul is going to be called against Robin Pogenvish. So two free throws coming up for the USA. Let's have a look at the replay here. Oh, it is contact there. It is a coming together. I really think, I'm not disagreeing with the call, but I don't think there's any intent there, that's for sure. I mean, look, the reason we have the unsportsmanlike foul is to maintain the health and safety, but Robin Pogenvish is really not that kind of player. I think what he did was when he made the contact in transition, I think he was trying to prevent Salazar from falling over, but nonetheless, it will be classified as an unsportsmanlike. 
Right there, he's just trying to stop him from falling over. But the contact was initiated. Four-point lead to the Netherlands and the USA now. Another chance to cut this down to a one-possession game. Serio wide open on the wing. Good ball reversal. This is what the USA want from the mid-range, and he is cooking it up. Captain America. Well, Mendel up to Nerd. He's got a contact there. No foul calls. And we'll go back to the USA. Can Captain America get it going again? Again, he is just firing it up, waving the shield all over the place. Well, who needs Steve Rogers when we've got Steve Serio? Captain America, and he is the captain of the USA. Tie ball game. Serio gets called for the foul. Just can't separate the USA and the Netherlands at the moment. The USA currently leading this quarter by two points. The foul is going to be called against Trevante Jennifer. That's going to be the third team foul against the USA. That's his second personal. Brian Bell, another key player the USA do need in this game at the moment. He has three fouls. Four seconds now. Tries to give a go play. Gets rejected. Salazar says no in me, Casa. Sari all the way. Captain America taking this game over. Well, this is good play here for the Americans, but can the Netherlands respond? They need composure. American fans in this arena, and an offensive foul is going to be called. And this is a good time here, and exactly Van Usala is going to call timeout to try and calm his players down. They need composure. USA currently leading by two points with a four point advantage here in the third quarter. Just need composure here. But at the moment, it is indeed the USA who have making a huge run here in the third quarter. There is our official mascot of the 2022 IWBF World Championship. USA currently leading by two points. Sarah, just like he did in the game against Australia, inspiring this team. Trying to go to Salazar, in the paint, goes up and just rolls its way out. Kukmas checking into the game, can tie the game up, and yes, he does. Heidi Turkiye. Or Kukmas 
Time, space, Teshek Edrim. Tie ball game, top of the key. USA gone cold, but Trevante Jennifer offensive rebound. And the USA second chance points going in their favor. That's an excellent play by Ryan Eeswender. Still two points that separates these two teams. Walking Vish trying to go pick and roll here with Korkmaz. Now we're under 10 the shot clock. Tries to find Obden Ert in the paint, goes up and it just rattles its way in and out. That was a good look there for Superman, but he's got to knock that one down. These winners played some good minutes off the bench here for the Americans. Trying to go around a few screens. Finds again, Sarah Corner, and again, just slowly starting to cool down. Now the Netherlands with another chance to tie this game up. Maybe take the lead with a three-pointer. And Young is wide open, they don't get the ball to him. Pogginvich now thinks about it, takes it. Front iron. He has hit two three-pointers so far tonight. No foul called. This time they're going to call it against Korkmaz. He's winning going baseline. USA still want to go from the 15 feet angle. Again, they're getting good looks, but just not getting the roll of the dice on that one. And now the Netherlands with another chance to tie this one up. Trying slowly to break down this American defense. Fork mass, one more pass. Finds up down earth. It's got to shoot this. And again, it's going to go out of bounds. And there you can see Coach Van Rusala saying to Optan Ert, don't lose your confidence. <laughs> 2 2 to go here in the third quarter. The winner of this game will go to the IWBF World Championship game, where they will face either Great Britain or Iran. Wonder again, left wide open, and he punishes the Netherlands. Now it's a four-point lead to America, well, to the United States of America, excuse me. And excellence is a habit, and that's how it's been here with the USA. Mass looking for options. Finds Mendel up there. Can he get this one? Yes, he can. Cool as you like. Superman stepping up big time. Well, again, he must keep believing in himself. That is why he is Superman. Salazar in the lane, a little bit too short. Gets his own rebound. Can he try a second time? Again, can't get it. Robin with a rebound. Abdena tries to go long here to Korkmaz. Nobody in transition for the Netherlands. Another chance to tie the game up under. One minute to go here. In the third quarter, time running out. Cookmass has the time and space, doesn't go for it. Well, they turn it over. Netherlands are giving up some wide open looks. Foul is going to be called against Cookmass. 29.6 seconds left. 14 seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. And you can see Coach Van Husala saying to Korkmaz, you're wide open, shoot the ball. Well, Williams goes from downtown, that goes out of bounds. Well, that's a good look, and that's what he does best, and he's got to keep shooting that. If they're going to give him that shot, he's got to believe in himself. 
Jacob Williams has hit one three-pointer here tonight. USA putting on a bit of full-court pressure. No problem breaking it down, but can they muster something from this offense? They're trying to go for the last shot. They don't want to give the USA another chance. Five seconds left. Satanga, deep three, takes it, doesn't get it. No foul call, it goes out of bounds, but that will be the Netherlands ball with four tenths of a second left here in the third quarter. It's literally throw it in, chuck it up. Trying to go for the love pass. Again, good interception, and at the end of the third quarter, it is the United States of America who have a two-point lead against the Netherlands. Well, we currently have 95 likes here on the live YouTube stream. If you are watching live here in on YouTube or in the Netherlands or in the USA, please give this live stream a like, please. This game could go right down to the wire. From the press to the half court is as good as it gets. We're still going for home run shots, all right? Either we do it one position at a time, we do it together, or we're in this position, okay? One at a time, we're getting every shot that we want, okay? Keep swinging the ball. You two are doing a great job on power and draw three. That's your job, okay? En die Dave heeft nu wel twee open gemaakt, hè? dat is een beetje druk dan wel. One final quarter will separate these two great teams. The question will be, who will be going to the final? Will it be the Netherlands or will it be the USA? But an early foul is going to be called against the Netherlands. Well, we thank you for giving us the likes on this live stream. And again, let's see if we can get to 150 by the end of this game. It does help progression and development of international wheelchair basketball. So please give this live YouTube stream a like. Under the basket, finding Serio the dump down. Another foul. Foul is on the ground, so the basket will not count. The execution of the offense has been good so far. You've got to credit the Netherlands defense as well as the USA's defense. Both teams really have tried to make this a defensive mindset. Poggenfish, great defense by Robin Poggenfish and the Nightwing. And I said, who needs Batman when you've got Robin? Well, he is the Nightwing for the Netherlands. Now, can the Nightwing, along with Spider-Man and Superman, tie the game up or take the lead? Pork bash now, thought about it. Good closeout by Steve Serio. It was again with the mid-range back on. It was on target, but just couldn't get it. USA with another chance to extend the lead. A slight issue with the shot clock.
Well, just sorted out a slight issue to have with the shot clock, so four seconds taken off. You will say maybe with a little bit of momentum here. Sigo kicking this one out. Trying to go to Jennifer under the basket. Good build-up play. Easy layup from the United States. Jennifer sending the pick and roll so effective. And they're about to turn it over now. It goes out of bounds, but that will remain possession to the Netherlands. And you can see the rollers, national team of Australia, losing yesterday to the USA. Mando up down, no, just falling. Balance, tough pass. The Netherlands need belief, but can the USA extend the lead? Jennifer trying to find an opening, but this is one thing you got to appreciate about the USA. Very disciplined half-court sets. Serio going baseline, takes it, doesn't get it. Pulls it to Salazar. Well, Jorge Salazar becoming the Dennis Rodman of international wheelchair basketball, getting every offensive rebound, but can't capitalize. Hoggenfish, what a great pass there, finding Superman. A foul has been committed, that's on Trevon Jennifer, that's gonna be his third personal. <laughs> 8 9 to go in the fourth quarter. The final on the line for this one. Need composure. Back out to Robin Pogginvish. In the paint, has got to go up with it. Takes a tough one, kisses it off the backboard. And the Dutch night wing keeping the Netherlands in this game. Serial give and go here. Salazar, one more time, the worm. The Dennis Rodman of international wheelchair basketball. The big mound to rebound. Still a four point ball game. Hagenvish. Just under a bit of pressure. Tries to give a go play. Well, court pass is wide open. Goes to Obden. And it gets Superman off the backboard. And ladies and gentlemen, please, if you can. We're up to 123 likes. Let's get to 150 before the end of this game. Every like you give helps the development of international wheelchair basketball. Please give this live stream a like. Cross court pass, finding Steve Serio. Good ball from the USA. Another mid range back iron, but another offensive rebound. The putback no good. Korkmaz with a rebound. Netherlands with a chance to tie the game up. Back and forth between these two teams. Seven here on the shot clock. Finds Pogginvich, baseline shot, front eye and doesn't get it. Well, it was a good look, but he's got to finish it. And USA with another chance to extend their two point lead. Down the lane finds Steve Serra, another kick out. Jennifer pump fakes. Good recovery defense by Frank DeYoung. Tries to go up with it, and Superman with a rebound. Well, right now, he needs to go into a telephone box here in Dubai and come out with that orange cape and step up big time here. But the Netherlands will be patient. Seven seconds in for Cork Mass. Hoggenfish forced it up. That's going to be a 24 second battle. Well, no, rebound secured. Well, good defense by Zatanga. Good hustle, unable to come up with it. Sideline possession to the USA. And Brian Bell will come back in. USA will call timeout. 13 seconds on the shot clock, 529 to go here in the fourth quarter. The winner will go on to the final to play either the United Kingdom or Iran. That game will take place later today.
Well, again, I want to say thank you to all the live fans watching on the live YouTube stream. Every like you give to this live stream helps the development of international basketball. Please like this live stream. Let's get to 150 if we can. The scoring has been evenly distributed between the big three of the Netherlands by Antonis Bellas, Mendel Obdenud, and Robin Bogovic. It's Steve Serio, who has been the key X Factor for the USA. The foul has been drawn. Second team foul for the Netherlands. Again, just as we're at this devil situation, I want to thank all the fans. We're now at 155 likes. Is it possible? Can we get to 200 likes before the end? Good hands by the Netherlands. Great defense. Mendel Obdenert comes up with it. Think about going for the three-pointer. This time he will. Takes it, fires it, and again, just short to the left. Goes out of bounds. Under five minutes to go. USA with another chance to extend their two-point lead. Serio's been their top scorer so far with 10 points. Last court. We'll go to a give and go play. Inside option. Can he go up with it? Makes the contact. Goes up. And now it's a four point lead. Need composure. Fourth pass, wide open, doesn't go for it, finds up Den Can he make it? Superman continuing to keep the Netherlands in this game. The composure of Mendel up Den at the moment. They've left him wide open one more time. Can he punch it again? He is stepping up big time. Jacob Williams, seven crucial points here for the USA. Four point ball game, under four minutes. Right now, the Netherlands, you want to go to Mendel up down earth because he is on fire. Hoggenfish, got to get the shot off. Shot is up by Corkmash. It's going to be a oh, foul. So Korkmaz will be going to the free throw line for two shots. Right at the dying moments of 24 seconds. 3.19 to go. Netherlands trailing by four points to the United States of America. Big free throws coming up for Korkmaz. Makes the first one. Second one just rolls out. Still a three point lead to the USA. Both teams are two fouls. Williams is having a good fourth quarter. Nice give and go play, trying to make the extra pass. It's up, and again, he continues to step up here for the USA. But Chimonte Jennifer just trying to put the full court pressure against Mendel up Den Ertz. Second 
So just trying to extend the sideline here. So Tangi coming back in the backcourt to try and help out. Mendel up den Ertz. Netherlands have been very good at breaking down the USA full court pressure. This is a big possession. Abden Ertz goes for the fadeaway, takes it, and again, he is putting on that orange cape. He went into the telephone box at halftime, and Superman doing everything to keep his team in the game. Netherlands need a stop here. USA need a bucket. Both teams want to get to the final. Williams takes again. This guy, well, he is a certified shooter. Jacob Williams. Well, he might be coming. Jacob, fourth quarter, Williams. Well, we have a timeout as Van Rousselaar wants to talk it over with his players. 152, they trail by five points. Well, this has just simply been fantastic between two great teams. We send one and a half guys to Mendel right now. That's what we have yeah, to do. Play two. Okay? Talk about who's the help. We're helping on the last one side. Big ass class one. Make them shoot long twos, but not Mendel. Hey, okay? the only one who's the ball. fans now getting in this game so at the moment big fourth quarter from Jacob fourth quarter Williams he now has 11 points he's a top scorer of the United States for well, Mendel Opton Earth still leading the way here for the Netherlands Robin Pogenvish he has two three points he has ten followed up by Matthias Bellas Netherlands breaking down the full court pressure composure is what they need two minutes to go here in the fourth quarter down the middle. Dime finds Dion. Well, Dion was open. Can Mendel opt in there, keep him in, tries to go off the backboard, can't get it. The rebound has been secured. 141 to go. Well, you gotta wonder why Frank Dion didn't go for the shot. He was wide open. He felt it was a block shot coming from behind. Williams using the pick and roll here with Jennifer. Finds Brian Bell. Bell down the middle. There's the kick out. Warrior on the shot clock. The force up. Missed the fourth quarter. Jacob, fourth quarter Williams. This is simply incredible. Jacob Williams might need to go to the registrar and change his middle name to fourth quarter. A minute to go here, seven point deficit. Cork match, force up a three, front eye and can't get it. And the USA come up with it, and a foul has been committed. Well, the emotion of this game has been incredible. It's almost like a final if you think about it. Man, trying to come up with a steal, doesn't get it. Another unsportsmanlike foul is going to be called. So USA will get two free throws and they'll get the ball back.
Big free throws now, killing up for Trey Jennifer. Trey J now is going to try and seal the game off here. It's an eight point deficit. Actually, it was a three pointer. Just gets the first free throw to rattle in. <laughs> Trey J making both free throws. Double digit lead. We just have to appreciate two great teams really battling here in the semifinals. Two wonderful coaches. This has been the man here, Jacob Williams. Well, Congress, the White House, if you are listening, the IWBF has a big message for you. Well, one thing for sure is, let me tell you something, it's not all over for the Netherlands because they will compete in the bronze medal match. And you got to feel for this team because the entire IWBF World Championship, they have been simply fantastic. But you've also got to pay homage and credit to this USA team. As a fan, I need to be impartial, but I tell you, this has got to be one of the best games we've seen so far here at the IWBF. <laughs> Jacob Williams, run for president, they should say. Somebody give a phone call to Congress, give a phone call to the White House. Put Jacob Williams on the next shot and flight off this tournament to DC. And let me tell you, Jacob Williams, Mr. Fourth Quarter, he has my phone, that's for sure. And you have to appreciate just how great the Netherlands have been in this tournament. A team that's always conducted himself with the highest standards of professionalism. taking on the winner of either Great Britain or Iran. Well, the Netherlands will compete for a bronze medal. Again, I just want to give a big thank you to all the fans live on the YouTube stream. We've got to 171 likes, and i got to tell you that means a lot to the IWBF because what it does do, it continues to promote the development of international wheelchair basketball. Dixie Comrade, i got to believe it, you both teams. So much talent on each team. USA, Jacob Williams, Brian Bell, Trey, Jennifer, Steve Serio. But you got to give credit to the Netherlands. Mendelov den Hurt probably could be an MVP for this tournament. That's why he's Superman. As well as Matthias Bell is a deep three is up. And Dankuvel, Bedankt. This has been my first experience commentating the IWBF World Championship. And for me, this has been an honorable experience to see two great teams get to the semifinals. We also have another great semifinal coming up between Iran and Great Britain. Well, I said it before, Steve Serio is Probably one of the greatest here for the USA. He is the real Captain America. And who needs Steve Rogers? But the USA have Steve Serio. Makes them both. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank you for joining us. It's been a great game between two amazing teams. The Netherlands will compete for the bronze medal while the USA give themselves a chance for the gold. We thank you for joining us, and congratulations to the United States of America. It's all over now. Big shout out to Johan Uman, and big shout out to Angel, Casey Einrev, Roy Bad Brewers, David Schaffer, and Dol Campbell. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you for joining us. You fans, you mean a lot to us.